Oh, hey there, bestie. Didn't see you there. <coughs> That's right, besties. It's Nat, back again with another video, this time building on my post-apocalyptic city core themed island of Tokyo 3. Today, we are going to be building the entrance to that island. Um, and by entrance, I mean literally half of the island. I'll put a picture of my map so you can see how big this build is, um, but it's huge. And another thing you may have noticed about it is that it's done and that I'm standing in it right now. To make a long story short, besties, and trust me, I will make it long later, this build did actually take me six months to complete. That is not clickbait. That is actually how long it took me to make. And I built the entire thing off camera because I reached a point where I was sitting at my desk recording for hours on end, not getting anything done. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather do this in my bed. So I did. And this is the build. It's enormous. It's beautiful. And today I will be tearing it down and rebuilding it in its entirety for your viewing pleasure. So hopefully if you yourself are building a post-apocalyptic city core themed island entrance, this video might be helpful to you. If you're not, I hope the amount of terraforming I have to do, although painful for me, will at least be entertaining to you. I'll also be giving some life updates about where I've been. If you don't care about those, feel free to mute me during those parts. I'm just going to be rambling. So you know the deal, besties. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get right into it. Oh, also, if you're watching this when it first goes up, I will be doing a charity live stream for the Palestinian Children's Relief Fund on March 9th, and there will be more information about that at the end of the video. Okay, now we can start the build. Okay, before I actually tear anything down, I thought I'd give you guys an idea of what we're actually working on today. So here I am at the actual entrance to Tokyo 3 at the airport. So we have this beautiful road that leads to this mysterious tunnel, and then if you come up above the tunnel, you get the tunnel exit, which is like, it's supposed to be like an incline, but obviously that's a very steep incline. Um, but this build is already big enough and I don't care. So you have this, this inclining tunnel that leads you up to this really long straight road that you can run down. And then you find yourself in the city center of Tokyo 3 with lots of buildings and city skylines uh, and a giant monster. So that is what we're gonna be working on today. It's a huge area and now it's gone. <laughs> So let's get started. All right, besties, we're started. It's happening. It's real. It's now. It's here. The speed build, the voiceover. Um, welcome. Welcome in. I'm happy to have you. I, I missed you. I missed you all. Um, so the format for this speed build, uh, it's going to be like an information sandwich. So the beginning and the end of this speed build, I'm going to be explaining the ideas for the island, like my inspiration for this build and for other builds. I'm going to be explaining the theme of the island. Uh, I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing, my build techniques, what I did right, what I did wrong, my mistakes, all of that good Animal Crossing stuff. Uh, and then in the middle, there's going to be a long section where in real life, in real time, I kid you not, I was terraforming for 30 minutes uninterrupted. And, and this is pre-planned terraforming besties. All of those little nerve logos on the ground, those are to tell me where the terraforming is supposed to go. Th those are my markers for where the terraforming is supposed to go. And it still took me half an hour. And that wasn't even all of the terraforming I had to do. So during that section of the video, uh, that's going to be like our fun little uh, podcast about my life. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Right now, though, right now it's time for information and education. And right now I'm going to educate you about this incredible custom design road made by the wonderful and talented Origo Alley. Uh, I know you've heard of Origo Alley before, Bestie. I know you've seen their stuff on Instagram, on YouTube. They're incredibly talented. They make amazing builds and they make amazing custom design codes, including this road code, which was honestly part of the inspiration for me to even do this island in the first place. Um, they originally were posting photos with it, uh, doing builds based on Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is another very uh, slayful post-apocalyptic city core vibe. Um, and it was just the spark of inspiration I needed to be like, you're doing an Evangelion Island. It's happening. It's real. It's now. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I will stop saying that. Uh, but right now I'm working on that road and I'm using a lot of techniques that I used on my previous island, uh, Nautilus, which I did a tour of. You can go watch it if you want. I don't actually, no, don't go watch it. Stay here, watch this and then go watch that. Anyways, I'm using a lot of techniques that I used on that island, except I have way more options now because of all of the little, uh, different pieces that this road code comes with. So I laid down all of the basic pieces, like the center lines and, and all of the, the big the big square chunks. 
uh, and I made some cutouts uh, using the soft edge pieces, uh, and I planted some weeds in some of them, and, and I don't know, I just had fun with it, besties. But while I'm working on finishing up that, um, let me explain to you briefly my inspiration for this build and for this island. As I previously mentioned, this is an Evangelion-themed island, the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion from the 90s. Um, you do not have to have seen Evangelion to understand this island. This is primarily a post-apocalyptic city core island that's super overgrown. Um, you don't have to know anything about Evangelion. It's just sort of like there's going to be a lot of references to the show, but mainly uh, the inspiration is visual. I really like the visuals of Evangelion. It's a very beautiful show, and it uses shot composition in very creative ways that I really enjoy. So I'm going to try and replicate that as best I can in Animal Crossing. We'll see how that goes. Um, but this build is actually based heavily off of imagery from the episode uh, The Day Tokyo 3 Stood Still, in which a giant spider attacks Tokyo 3 and there's also a power outage. Don't worry about the spider. The spider, the spider doesn't matter for, for the purposes of our build. Um, but, oh, my neighbor's dog is barking. <laughs> Okay, actually though, uh, apologies if my audio sounds wonky in this video. Uh, that's for several reasons. One, because I have not recorded audio in approximately six months, so I had to redo all my settings. Two, because I've had to start and stop a lot uh, because of stuff like uh, that dog barking. So if my voice sounds different, that's why <laughs> during the different sections. And three, uh, I got a new pop filter, so that's good. Uh, but yes, apologies for that. Hopefully by the next video, it will be normal the entire time. Um, but yes, the day Tokyo 3 stood still, huge inspiration for this build and probably future builds just because there's so many great shots of the city. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. Okay, but yes, uh, great episode, lots of great shots of Tokyo 3. Uh, this area in particular is based off of the scene where uh, some Nerve uh, employees are trying to get information from the above ground parts of Tokyo 3 to the below ground parts where Nerve is set up. A Tokyo 3, it has a lot of levels, okay? Um, levels that I'm not sure I'll be able to accurately depict in Animal Crossing, but we're gonna try. Uh, but that doesn't matter for today. Uh, basically, <laughs> because there's a power outage, they steal a truck uh, that belongs, I think, to the mayor, because he was like running for re-election. Okay, we're, we're, we're finished with the terraforming. I will briefly explain this. Basically, they steal the truck and they ride it down into the underground part of Tokyo 3 to get to Nerve headquarters to tell everyone, hey, the power's out and also there's a giant spider. Um, and that was my inspiration for this entrance because I thought the tunnel was cool. And we're building that tunnel right now using uh, custom designed simple panels that I just made completely black. And then we're using these gray concrete ones that actually come with the game, which is really great for me because I need as many custom design slots open as possible. So you're going to be seeing a lot of these, these gray concrete custom design panels uh, throughout this island. Uh, but right now we're using them to create the tunnel. I'm just lining all of the walls with the concrete, including the inside walls in this specific instance. I'm not going to do that for every time I have like a little part where the walls sort of go in. Um, but for this area in particular, it just made it look better to have it like fully lined like that. Um, and now we are working on the above part of the tunnel. Um, the short uh, simple panels were actually really, really helpful for this build and actually making it look like a tunnel. I cannot tell you how long it took me to figure out this part. This is one of the reasons why the build took so long. I tried originally using the Mario blocks that float in the air to make a real tunnel, but then you can walk on them. I tried using pillars. I tried using uh, the archways that came in the 2.0 update. And this ended up being the best looking version of the tunnel that I came up with, just using these fence objects and more regular size simple panels to add a little bit of height and like texture, I guess. Um, and then using the little short ones to actually make the tunnel look like it's 3D and has like a top to it so it's not just like the black simple panels that makes it look really flat and like obvious that it's not a real tunnel um so this was my best version of the tunnel there it is and i also forgot when i was rebuilding this to put the custom designs underneath the tunnel to make it actually have some dimension you can't really see them but it just makes me feel better to have those underneath there now we're adding in the actual sidewalk part that you walk on um, this sidewalk code actually took me a while to figure out. That was another thing that took a long time to decide on because the, the beautiful sidewalk code that comes with this road code just takes up so many slots and I didn't have room for it. But this white tile code actually looks almost exactly like the sidewalks that they have on the show. And it really, really pops with the gray. A lot of the sidewalks I was trying were also gray and they sort of blended in too much. But this one looks really, really great. Um, this island is going to be very gray though, uh, unfortunately. 
Um, but we do have some plants. There is going to be there is going to be a lot of greenery. I want this to be an overgrown post-apocalyptic city. So there's going to be a lot of these plant partitions around just to add a little bit of foliage. And there's going to be a lot of trees too. So it won't be all gray, but it will be a lot gray. Um, I'm about to finish up the tunnel actually. And I'm going to warn you now, I did lose some footage of me adding uh, city core objects to this area of the build, like uh, utility poles and lamp posts. I'm going to show you me adding the wooden field signs that are uh, custom design painted to look like road barriers. I used that trick on Nautilus and I thought it would look good here and I was right. So that code will also be linked in the description. And here's the finished result that I uh, forgot to show y'all. Uh, there will be more uh, city core object placement in uh, later parts of this video though. So uh, be on the lookout for those. Uh, but yeah, I'm adding these nerve trucks in now. Um, I thought it would be fun to have them going into the tunnel because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it adds to the mystery. Like, where are they going? What are they doing? You know, and if you know Evangelion, you see those trucks, you're like, oh, this is an Evangelion island. I mean, you would know because the island is called Tokyo 3. Uh, but here we are at the finished part of the first part of this speed build. There are three parts uh, and we are deep in our information sandwich now. Uh, so we just had our information and now we're going to have a very long drawn out life update while I uh, terraform. So uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, here we are in the extended terraforming section where I uh, spent 30 minutes of my life uh, re-terraforming terraforming that I had already done. Um, I actually don't know how long it took me to un-terraform this part. Uh, I wasn't recording, but I imagine it was just as long. Uh, but at least for those parts, I got to be in my bed. Um, but, uh, yes, this, this did suck. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, this build, like I mentioned at the beginning, is enormous, uh, and I have a feeling that later on there will be a video where I'm like, this is a mistake, and I have to make this build smaller because I've spent too much room of my island on this entrance that is ridiculous. Um, but it's okay, because right now is the life update part, so we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about the build. There's no more information, okay? Information is done. Um, I might give some information about Evangelion, uh, but information about Animal Crossing building is done. This is Life Update podcast now, um, so hello. Uh, my name is Nat, uh, or Newt, you can call me either. Um, I used to make Animal Crossing videos. No, 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 no. I'm currently making an Animal Crossing video. Uh, I just happened to take a six or seven month long hiatus, partially by accident. Um, this build, like I said before, very overwhelming. Um, I previously spent three years on my uh, New England themed town core forest core island Nautilus, which uh, once again, I mentioned I have a tour of on my channel. You can go watch later. Stay here. Don't go watch that right now. S stay, watch this. Um, <laughs> but I spent three years on that island. Um, and I don't know why I thought that I could just start a completely different island with a different theme. That's important, besties, with a different theme and be completely comfortable and like, oh yeah, this is so natural to me. Everything about this is is completely natural um, and will be so easy. I don't know why I thought that. That was very silly of me, especially with how long it took me to finish Nautilus. I don't know why I thought that it would be easy for me to start Tokyo 3, um, but I did start it and I did build a build. And there had to be a point where I had to put the build down and make the video. And that point is now. So uh, I hope you guys like it. I really, really did miss you all so much. I did miss making videos, even if it did stress me out every time I sat at my desk to record. I was like, no, 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 I'm not ready for this. But I had to put my foot down for myself and be like, no, you're ready for this. They're gonna like the build. Like you you are thinking too hard about this. Um, and the whole reason that you are able to do this island is because of the kindness and generosity of the besties who fundraised for the second Switch in the first place. So I have that in my head all the time of like, no, 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 this island is a gift for the besties. I, I have to get this done, you know? The the whole reason they're there is because they like your build. So they're gonna like this build, you just have to finish it. And that is why we are here, besties. So I, I just wanna reiterate, I appreciate your support so much. I also wanna apologize for my lack of communication. I, I definitely often um, post builds late or say I'm gonna post a build and don't uh, for various reasons. Sometimes uh, it's because uh, I got sick. A lot of times it's because I got sick. Um, sometimes it's because there are bees attacking my house. This was not because of the bees, Bessie. The bees are gone. The bees are gone. There was briefly a scare uh, back at the end of the summer uh, where I thought the bees were back, but they were not. Um, bees are gone. It's not because of the bees. If you're wondering what I mean by the bees, uh, long story short, um, there was a bee's nest uh, inside of my walls of my bedroom. 
Um, but that's done now. If you want to know more about that, there, I explain it in a different video. But but that's not relevant right now because, like I said, it wasn't because of the bees. Often it's because of technical difficulties, um, which this build absolutely had. I lost a lot of footage when I was initially recording this, when I was sitting at my desk trying to conjure a city core entrance from my brain, which I was unable to do. And then I would go open DaVinci Resolve and I would have lost all of my progress and it would quit in the middle of the editing and then I would go to look for clips and they would just be gone completely from all of my external hard drives from my normal hard drive. Um, at one point, DaVinci Dissolve, DaVinci Dissolve, that's what happened. It DaVinci Dissolved um, and it just deleted all of my projects and completely reset itself. So that was really cool. Um, and you can see what that would do to um, my brain and to uh, my motivation, uh, and uh, also just like life stuff was happening. Um, I briefly had a part-time job, a real job. Okay, actually, YouTube is a job for a lot of people. Um, for me, it's a job in the sense that mentally uh, it takes up a lot of my energy. So when I'm doing it, I'm like, this is my job. Um, but financially, not really a job, but I don't need to worry about that. I'm very fortunate uh, in that way. Uh, but I did have an actual part-time job for a, for a little while there. Um, and I also did a lot of other stuff. So my life was, was not in shambles necessarily, but my mental health in terms of doing YouTube was not in its best place. So that's where I was. Once again, apologies for the lack of communication. Um, I have said this once and I'll say it again. I am allergic to work-related social media. Uh, so Instagram, Discord. Uh, I, and I really appreciate all the kind messages that y'all sent me, that y'all left. Uh, I got birthday messages on Discord, even though I wasn't even on during my birthday. That warmed my heart so much, you have no idea. I was always like, oh no, 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 they're gonna be so bad that I haven't posted. Um, so if you are watching this, I can't thank you enough for your patience with me. And once again, this island is a gift to you. So I am committed to working on it, uh, even if my uh, mental health says no, my appreciation for all of you and my love of Animal Crossing says yes. Um, even when my computer says no, and even when my physical health says no, and even when life stuff says no. Speaking of life stuff, the last time you saw me, I was about to go see Beyonce. And I did see Beyonce. And it was amazing. Uh, I went with my mod Chloe. I'll put a picture of us here. Obviously, we look amazing. Um, she did my hair, actually. So shout out to her for that. It came out so good. Also, as you can tell by my outfit, mentally, I knew Act 2 was coming. I was ready for it. I have the cowgirl boots ready. I will be wearing them to the next tour. Um, speaking of concerts, though, actually, you know what, we'll, we'll hold that thought. I just finished the terraforming, um, and you're about to see how obscenely large this area is. Um, but I'm going to start working on the road now, but I'm also going to keep rambling about my life. So no worries, besties. We're still fully in life update mode. Uh, but yes, speaking of concerts, I actually went to a lot of concerts while I was on my hiatus. The thing about concerts is, besties, right? Um, most concerts cost, I would say, between like 15 to $40, okay? And then some concerts cost a thousand dollars so you really have to pick your battles right i guess beyonce obviously one of those battles um but then you just you go to that one show and then the rest of the shows that you go to for the rest of the year are the the, the 30 dollar shows i went to a lot of those and they were really great um i saw death grips <laughs> and i accidentally i i was not in the pit Besties, I, don't worry about me. Don't worry. I was not in the pit for death grips. Um, but I accidentally bought a random seat that was like literally like an ad for the tabernacle. Like the seat that they're like, oh yeah, this is what the tabernacle is like. Um, personally, I have, you know, I have my thoughts on the tabernacle. I will get into like my Atlanta venue thoughts in this life update, but I have thoughts. Um, but I saw death grips. I saw Flo Millie. Oh my God. I saw Flo Millie. She was, she was, that show, that's one of those shows where you're like, this should not cost 20 to $30. This should cost way more than that. I saw Flo Millie and Maya the Dawn. They were amazing. Speaking of shows that should cost more than $30, besties, the first show that I saw of this year was Tinashe. Uh, I went to go see her in Ybor City in Tampa once again with my mod Chloe. Oh my God, besties. Um, first of all, if there's one thing you have to know about me, is that I love Tinashe. That's my cousin. She's a fellow Aquarius. I'm obsessed with her. She's an icon. She's a legend and she is the moment. She is everything to me. That show was so good. She sounds exactly like she does on the record when she sings live. Her dancing, oh my God. When she transitioned from Fountain into Link Up, I actually, that that almost killed me, besties. That almost got me. Um, <laughs> but that show was amazing. Uh, and later this month, actually, I'm gonna be seeing uh, Tia Corinne in Atlanta. So if you're going to the Tia Corinne show, in Atlanta, 
um, feel free to say hi, because I will be there. You know what, besties? I want life updates from you all in the comments, okay? First of all, a lot of you are regulars. A lot of you, a lot of you, I, I know, and I've seen before, and I want to know what you are up to. And even if you aren't a regular, if this is your first video, feel free to leave a life update in the comments. Let this be, like, your checkpoint, okay? Let me know what's up. If, if you saw any shows, if you read any good books, if you've been up to some arts and crafts, if you saw a movie, um, if you had just a life event uh, that you'd like to share, feel free to share. Um, uh, I'm curious, and I, I hope that you've been well. I hope that you've been well. Like I mentioned before, I had my ups and downs, but overall, I've, I've been doing well. I have been reading a lot, actually. Um, like I've mentioned before, uh, I mostly read manga, and I mostly read, like, queer manga, though I have been branching out recently. I'll say that my taste is mostly shoujo and jose manga, um, and I have been keeping up with uh, both Cherry Magic and A Sign of Affection that are airing this season, um, anime-wise. Uh, but that's mostly what I've been reading. Uh, let me know if you've read any good books, besties, any, any good manga any good um, instructional manuals. I don't know what you've been up to, besties, but uh, once again, I hope that you're all doing well. And if you're not doing well, that's okay too. You don't have to, you don't have to, you have to pretend, besties. Uh, if there's ever a safe space for folks that aren't doing well, it's here. So, you know, um, it'll pass, but right now in this moment, don't, don't, don't be afraid to feel that feeling. It's okay. Um, and I'm glad that you're here both in the literal sense that I'm glad that you're here watching my video, but I'm just glad that you're here, Bestie. I really am. That makes me really happy. Speaking of uh, uh, anxious feelings and also gaming, uh, I have been gaming while I was away. I played a lot of Sims. I built a lot of Sims houses. Who would have thought that I love to build in the Sims? Um, I actually have a Sims series here on this channel where I took all of my Animal Crossing villagers from Nautilus and put them into the Sims 4 and I was doing like a legacy challenge. We will continue that series, Besties, but right now I am focusing on Animal Crossing, so we go. I gotta get that done first. Um, I also got Pikmin 4 for Christmas, uh, that, which it's amazing, besties. I played the demo back in the summer when it dropped, and I finally actually got to buy the game uh, this Christmas, and I, 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 it's so good. It's so good. Um, speaking of that, though, uh, I mentioned in my previous video seven months ago that I wanted to start channel memberships. Now, besties. I'm not going to start channel memberships anytime soon, specifically because I want to get back on a regular upload schedule. I can't, I can't start channel memberships when I can barely post a normal video. Uh, but in the future, hypothetically, I would like to start channel memberships. And I mentioned this before, one of the reasons that I would want to start channel memberships is specifically so I can stream games that would make me curse while I was playing them. I don't swear in my videos for a couple of reasons, but I do swear in real life. Um, and there are certain games where I know myself and I know that I will curse while playing them. Games like Mario Kart and Zelda and sometimes even Splatoon or even a game like Pikmin. Um, and so hypothetically, if I did start channel memberships, one of the things that we would do over there is stream games like that. Games that might make me angry or upset while I'm just playing them. Uh, so uh, let me know if you're interested in, see in seeing that. I guess. That was a weird way to advertise the idea of channel memberships, besties. I apologize. Right now, oh my god, we're working on like a real thing now. I'm done. I'm done with the road. The road is done. The terraforming is done. Um, we're back in the information part of the information sandwich, besties. So re reassess, reevaluate where you are. Right now, I am planting trees on the side of the road. Those were in my pockets for so long, and now my pockets are free. Um, but those trees are, once again, an Evangelion reference. I feel like there are a lot of shots in this show of the kids walking to school or walking from school or somewhere else and they're walking along like a tree-lined street and i could have sworn in my life that there was also like an ad for the rebuilds I, we won't talk about the rebuilds right now besties but there was an ad for the rebuilds it was like a poster where the kids were like walking along this type of road but i could not find it for the life of me so i, I once again i have a screenshot here for you uh from the episode the day tokyo 3 stood still uh, of the kids walking into the city. Uh, I believe they were trying to get to Nerve headquarters and then the power was out and there was a giant spider. We just talked about this before, besties. Um, but here I am placing down the city core objects that I accidentally forgot to film me doing in the previous part of the build. Um, so yeah, I'm just making sure all the utility poles are facing the same way. I wanted it to look like the image. So I, I had the utility pole and the light post and we're gonna add some utility poles 
and uh, lampposts uh, to other places in the build as well. One thing you may notice though that's different from the image is that I only put the lampposts and utility poles on one side of the street. Uh, partially that was because they were blocking the sidewalk and in order to recreate the screenshot properly I had to have the Animal Crossing character be able to walk on the sidewalk. Um, but also one of the things that I really struggled with with this build and will likely struggle with in the future was perspective and having those really tall objects be really close to the buildings that I was trying to make look taller than they actually were was really messing with that perspective. And I'm, you're going to see that later on when I actually build the buildings, uh, but that was, that was something I really struggled with. Um, there are also some Instagram accounts that I'm going to mention later on in this voiceover that really helped me with that though. Um, so we'll get to that later, besties. Right now, I'm finishing up the tunnel. The top of the tunnel, I used the solar panels to make it look like the roof of the tunnel, like where your car would actually come out. Um, and I thought that those worked really good. Once again, I workshopped that tunnel for ages, um, and that was that was the best looking thing that I could come up with. So that's what we ended up with, and I really like it. Now we are working on the sides of the road. This underneath area, uh, for the longest time, I wanted it to be train tracks and you might actually have seen in the beginning i think i still have the train tracks down there there are a lot of important scenes in evangelion that happen at the train station and on the train so i'm definitely going to have a train station on the island and there are a lot of really great custom design standee codes that look like trains but the combination of objects that you use to make the standee look like an actual train the illusion just didn't really work when you're looking at it from above so I might put a road here instead, but that's that's for us to worry about on another day. I told y'all I had to put the build down, and this was the point where I had to put it down. Um, but we're actually about to finish this area. Uh, so we're done with the road now, besties, this long section of road. As you can see, I've also placed some more city core objects down, and now I'm gonna get started on the building. Uh, so this is the last bit of terraforming that we have to do, besties. And as I go, I'm gonna pause and give like overhead views of all of the areas that I terraform specifically so that if y'all want to recreate this type of build i guess or or recreate the specific buildings that i built you'll be able to see what i did um these two in the back are just going to wander around uh being old and i guess being kind of cute i am mad at diana okay diana was a random move-in and i was supposed to villager hunt um she's not supposed to be here she's not supposed to be here and every time i look at her i get mad but it is what it is, besties. Um, I, You know what? I'll talk about villager hunting while I'm terraforming this. I need to continue villager hunting for this island. Uh, once again, Evangelion-themed island. I have like a list of villagers. In, in any of my VODs that I have from previous villager hunts, I have a list of the villagers and all the corresponding characters that are, that are supposed to be in the description. Uh, Dovi is supposed to be Fuyutsuki, who's like this old man scientist who has a lot to do with Nerve and like uh, the Evangelions and the angels and everything. Um, but Diana's supposed to be nobody. She's not supposed to be here. So we have to get rid of her at some point and I'm going to start villager hunting again. I also really have to get more player characters on my island. Basically my idea was I was going to have all four of the kids be player characters. So Shinji, Asuka, Rei, and Kaoru were going to be the player characters. And then the rest of the characters would be represented by different villagers. Um, and I also really want to make sure that all of those player characters have access to all of the emotes so that I can do like uh, poses with them and stuff. So if any of y'all have advice about how to like unlock emotes really, really fast, like from your villagers, have them teach you emotes really, really fast, let me know because I really need that advice. Uh, but we're done with the first part of terraforming. Uh, as you can see, uh, here are the different areas. We're going to work on the first building now. This is the, the white building that's in the farthest... Uh, right hand corner of the build. Um, I mentioned earlier how there were a couple of oh, they're being cute again They were talking. I don't know besties. I mentioned earlier how there were a couple of Instagram accounts that uh, Were really helpful in getting this part of the build done in particular and helping me with perspective One of them is Kanayan Mori. I really hope I pronounced their name, right? I'm actually about to show y'all uh, the tops of the building. So if you need a screenshot, here's your time uh, but they are working on the most incredible city core island and they also have a previous island that is also city core and i toured that dream address absolutely stunning highly recommend checking out their instagram uh touring their da and they're working on a new da right now um that i am super excited to be able to actually see and they also said that uh, when they're done with their current island and they post the DA, they will also post all the codes that they use. So I will also be checking that out. They just have the best 
buildings. Like, and, and they're the exact like like type of buildings that I need for my island. So I I studied their Instagram. They're amazing. Check them out, besties. Um, and then another account that was really helpful in specifically in this area that we're working on now, which is the buildings that are like much closer up, was Kayla Princess or Kaya Princess. Once again, apologies. <laughs> I couldn't tell how to pronounce uh, your Instagram. Uh, but they post the most amazing tutorials about how to build buildings. Uh, and it was super, super helpful in just getting ideas of like what objects to use and like how to layer them and like how to make it look like a real building and like how to do signs and stuff like that. Um, so both of those accounts, super helpful. Here is the top of the main area of the city uh, in case you want to copy this. Uh, and there's the giant, the giant build that we just built. Um, so you can see how much of my island this takes up. Don't worry, besties. I have a plan. I have a plan and this build might shrink, but it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. We're keeping this. This is, this is the start of, of Tokyo three and it's the start of great things. Um, but right now we're actually going to build the buildings. So once again, this is the part that took me the, the second longest, or maybe it was a tie between figuring out the tunnel and figuring out the buildings. The road was easy. I know how to build a road besties, but uh, the, building the buildings was really, really challenging and I just kept fiddling with it over and over again. But okay, the main objects that you're gonna wanna use if you're building a modern city core building. Uh, one, obviously simple panels, but two is the wide display stand. That's the, the big chonky thing that I've been placing down um, all over the place. Uh, the wide display stand absolutely must have um, I also used uh, the scaffolding as well. I feel like, the, once again, I mentioned before, one of the biggest problems that I had with this area in particular was getting enough height uh, because I'm starting on the second level. So I only have one more level to go up before my building is done. And hypothetically, I could try to use the like fourth level glitch. I'm not sure if they patched that out or not, um, but even if they didn't, I, I don't want to risk it just because uh, that that glitch often has issues and uh, your objects will disappear or there will be other glitches. So I don't want to deal with that, besties. It's not like the tree glitch, but here we're done with the first building and then we're on to the second building, the gray one. Um, but yeah, this this section was heavily inspired by Kanayan Mori's uh, island, uh, specifically the, the perspective of the buildings and using these simple panel designs that have like really small windows and doors uh, next to the buildings that have sort of bigger window and door designs on them uh, just to make it, I don't know, look like it's farther away. And you know what, besties? That is, in fact, the definition of perspective. So as you can tell, uh, I'm a bit new to uh, doing that in Animal Crossing, <laughs> uh, but we're going to get better at it. I, I, I am determined uh, to figure it out. Uh, I want to make this island look good. And I think also when I start adding more buildings around this area, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, but when I start adding more buildings around this area, uh, then it will actually start to look good um, and look like it sort of belongs in a city. Right now I'm adding this fence, which is also uh, a direct reference to a scene from that same episode of Evangelion that I've been talking about. Uh, it's at the beginning of the episode, I believe, where um, Shinji is calling his dad uh, on a payphone, uh, telling his dad like, hey, parent-teacher conferences are coming up. And Gendo is like, no, that's actually none of my business. Um, Misato will be going to that for you. And Shinji is so sad. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe while, okay, I was gonna explain uh, Evangelion uh, at this point, but I think instead I will talk a little bit about uh, the second type of building that I'll be working on. And then I'll talk a little bit about Evangelion, the show. And then by that time we'll be at the decorating portion of the video uh, and then we'll talk about that and it'll be fun. Um, but right now I'm building like the close-up building, I guess you could say, if, if at least perspective wise, this is a close-up building that's like actually on the street. Um, and once again, inspired by that same scene, uh, Shinji is standing next to some vending machines while he's on the payphone. So we'll see those added in later. Um, but I just wanted to like mix together some different colors. So we have the white buildings on the sides and then the gray building in the middle that also is gonna have some like shop doors. And initially that gray building was actually based off of a different scene from the same episode where one of the nerve employees is like leaving the laundromat. And so there was like a laundromat sign. Um, it was way more complicated than it needed to be. And that was, once again, one of the reasons why this build took me so long is I was overcomplicating things. And I ended up just simplifying it to the, these fake doors. Uh, once again, all codes will be in the description for y'all. 
um i ended up just having these fake doors and then this tv which we're later going to have turned on is going to be like the window display of the shop um, I also used uh, the the gray scaffolding again on top of the buildings. I mentioned previously how I used it on that other building on the far right uh, to look like antennas coming out of the roof. Uh, initially, I actually had the white version, like the, the white tarp version of the scaffolding, and I was using it to make the white buildings on the sides look taller. But once again, we run into the issue with perspective, and it was just... I didn't like how it looked from far away to have uh, those buildings be taller and have the gray one be shorter. So I ended up using the same uh, like antennas on the roof sort of technique uh, with this gray building. Um, and honestly, besties, I am happy with how this turned out. But at the same time, I think that this group of buildings at the front is the one that is the most likely to change. Just when I get more of a handle on how to do perspective properly, um, I want to be able to make them look taller. Um, and once again, that was an issue with uh, having the build start on the second level. Uh, I didn't have very much room to go up. Uh, and items like the scaffolding or like those big stadium lights uh, were helpful in creating more height, but not in the way that I ended up going with or in the way that I ended up liking. There's the building. Look at that. Besties, would you believe that we are almost at the end of this information sandwich? I know I mentioned a million times. I'm going to talk about like the plot of Evangelion. We'll talk about Evangelion a lot. In this series don't worry so if you're not clued in on the plot it's okay i'll, I'll make sure that you're that you're here with, with me um, i'm just adding a couple more city core items to liven up the place a little bit despite the fact that tokyo 3 is existing in the post-apocalypse it is still a pretty lively city all things considered um, and now we're working on the specific area that i showed y'all earlier the reference photo um, and i'm also going to add in some references to episode one where shinji is, has his little suitcase and he's at the phone booth and then misato pulls up in her blue car and they're running away from the first angel i forget his name i just looked it up it's Sashiel, so that is who that gray godzilla is supposed to represent we gotta get creative here besties it's animal crossing uh but finally i am removing my bug wall so you're welcome for that besties uh and last but not least uh, certainly not least finally placing down uh the staircase uh that was a long time coming besties and it feels really good to finally do and here we are with the finished build look at that oh it's so beautiful Thank you all so so much for watching this build has been a labor of love it's been months in the making and i'm so so happy that i finally finally get to share it with y'all um i am so grateful for your kindness towards me and your patience with me and i'm really excited to actually dig my teeth into working on this island and, and being creative and trying something new and uh hosting again and streaming again uh, so just thank you all so much for being here um if you made it this far into the video thank you for watching this far um if you really liked this video you can leave a like uh to let me know and you can also leave a comment uh remember life updates i'd like to know what y'all have been up to i'd like to hear from you um and if you really really liked this video you can subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time i post or go live speaking of going live i have two announcements one uh, as i mentioned before i will be doing a charity live stream for the palestinian children's relief fund march 9th this coming saturday uh, i'll leave information about that in the description i'll also post about it on discord and on instagram and i'll also leave a link to the actual stream in the cards so you can like set the notification bell for it we will be live streaming happy home paradise and your donations will be able to control my build uh, i love doing streams like that and this is a cause that is extremely important to me and one that i imagine is important to a lot of you as well so please make sure to check that out i'd love to have you there and this coming week uh on thursday the 7th the snuffkin game is finally coming out i've been waiting for this game ever since it was announced so we will be streaming that this week besties as for videos the next build video that i'm going to be doing on this island is an interior build we're going to be building misato's apartment where shinji and asuka live um, i'm very excited for that one and that should be out within the next two weeks fingers crossed see i shouldn't make promises like that besties because last time that i did that uh, it took me seven months to finish a build but i'm holding myself accountable besties um and i want to work on this island more and i'm excited to work on this island more so once again thank you all for watching uh i hope to see you uh at the live stream on saturday and if you are as invested in uh moomin as i am i hope to see you on thursday as well uh free palestine and i'll see you all again soon bye besties